What's up guys, going on, it's your boy here, Ryan Rod Beast. How's everybody doing? Uh, today we're gonna do some embroidery on these hats. If you guys are wondering how I did this on this bucket hat, boonie hat, guide hats, stay tuned. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some embroidery on some hats. These are called boonie hats, guide hats, but a lot of you guys know them as uh, bucket hats. But these are a little bit longer here, so yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do this um, with the limited equipment that you have. All right, let's get to it. All right, I have to go back to the print shop in the back. So a couple of things you guys are gonna need. One is a hat driver hat hoop, the single band hoop. Some spray mist. I'm gonna be using the um, top mist bond that I use for my palettes here. And some backing, tearaway backing. Okay, I'm gonna show you what, what's going on here. What's the best way to do it? All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna need a couple of items here. First you got your driver. Let's load it up like you're gonna do a hat. Okay, um, so this, these particular ones um, are really, really thin. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna double up on the backing. And if you look at example, this is a, not the ones we're gonna be using, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference, okay? This one has a sweatband that you can fold up. You can put under here, under the sweatband uh, thing here, and lace it up. Now, typically what you wanna do is you wanna do that, you know, Put your, um, put your back in here, roll it up this way. And the best way to do it is you have to fold it like a taco, like Ramon would say. So you fold it like this, okay? Get your band, get our band, and load it like that. Make sure we get to where we need to be. And clip it on, right? That's how you do it. But the difference with this one is, see the sweatband? It's actually sewed onto the actual uh, material here. So we can't fold it. So we're gonna do a little trick here. First things first, let's get our, like I said, I'm gonna double it up because it's the material is really, really thin. So we're gonna double it up here. Let's get our mist bond. Spray adhesive, I'm gonna spray the card. Put the two together. Like so, stick them together. Okay, now I'm gonna put the card in there, but I'm gonna spray the side that, um, that the hat's gonna be on, just because so um, it won't move. Okay, because this thing will shift around this way like that. So we're gonna spray it. Spray it like that. Okay, don't spray it in front of your thing. That was just like, I'm just showing you guys how it works. But so this one, we're gonna find the center. This has air vents on each side here. So you know, that's the side. Let's go ahead. So now we have to do is since we cannot fold it, what I have to do here is fold this thing this way. All right, like that, fold the, um, I don't know, the brim or whatever over and Pinch it in here. So that's what I have to do. So, okay. Again, same thing. We still gotta fold it like a taco, right? Make sure that's in there. Let's go ahead and fold it in. Fold it like a taco. Now, there was one step that I didn't, I forgot to do is to measure the center. So I know from uh, the seam here, you guys can see the seam. Let me see here. You guys can see the seam, right? This seam here, 
and on the other side is 12 inches so we're gonna go six inches just to get the center point now the other thing you guys got to look into is the band itself the band itself this band right here is pretty loose because uh, you know the hats are a little thicker so you might have to uh, make some adjustments I gotta make that adjustment right now now once again we did that adhesive thing make sure you flatten it out make sure that adhesive is working if it doesn't work you can always flip it over spray it again if you need to spray it onto the fabric itself go ahead and spray it onto the hat okay there it is let the machine turn on load it in there like a hat okay now we just gotta find that mark now once again it's six inches right uh, is we got our center point now we want to be centered here on the hat itself so we're gonna be centering it from here to the seam here so from there to there is two two and a half inches so I'm gonna go one one and a quarter where is it one and a quarter there it is made our line one and a quarter so let's get our mark okay as you can see there's the mark go ahead and start Right, guys that's it we do have a bunch here we got some tan khaki ones and we got the black ones we got to do so we're gonna get right on it we're gonna keep moving on all right doing the khaki right okay. there show you guys what we've done boom all right guys well that's it um hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go ahead and finish up we have about i don't know six left and plus the two so eight about eight mm -hmm. left that's how it looks we got the black and then the khaki looks pretty good oh by the way if you don't have the mist spray here I know you guys can get like clips and things, so you can definitely do it this way. It's another way of doing it. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to keep it flat. If it starts wrinkling up, the embroider doesn't know that it's wrinkled. So if it's wrinkled there, it's just gonna keep embroidering there when it's wrinkled. So just make sure it's clean, as straight and flat as possible, and you'll be good. So that's another way of doing it on these bucket hats and boonie hats, whatever you call it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe. All right? Peace out.